If you're just joining in, thank you for hopping on on this amazing adventure with us. It's been it's been a crazy roller coaster. You know, I started this organization back in 2021, and I really did not think it would kick off as successfully as it's been. So first and foremost, I want to thank everyone that's been on this journey with us. And I especially want to thank my wonderful team, both here and in uh, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, and all over Africa, to be to be exact. And I also want to really thank all the organizations that we've been able to network with, because without them, this none of this would be possible. So with that being said, let's do a little bit of a, a recap on who we are, what we do, and how you might be able to benefit from what we do. So. The Okra Network, we are a registered nonprofit here in the U.S., in Arizona to be, to be precise. And we operate under three main goals. Our first goal is to create visibility for organizations working in Africa, as well as organizations working in African communities. So if you are an organization in the U.S. or in Europe or anywhere around the world, but you work to better the communities in Africa, we're your organization. We also look to network and, and connect organizations with each other as well as organizations with beneficiaries and stakeholders so that way communities can be best served. And lastly, we look to serve communities by creating sustainable project solutions. And you know, obviously without great projects, without sustainable projects, none of this is going to be everlasting. So that's a little bit of a rundown of what we do. And since 2021, we've been connecting with organizations. And um, in early 2023, we embarked on a few projects, um, the IT for Girls project, our menstrual hygiene project, as well as Amani project. We've been able to work closely with organizations such as Yuval Foundation, The Change Society Needs, Integrity Youth Forum, Bulalo Foundation, and several others for us to better utilize our time as an organization and the resources that we have. With all that, we're here. And you know, as every foundation works, we need to be able to support our missions as well as support the communities that we serve in. And we need your help. Now, as it all goes, every organization needs some assistance at some point, but we're not just asking for help. You know, obviously we could do the, the regular old donations and seek out funding from organizations and other businesses. And we will, and we have, and, and we've been relatively successful and we're looking for more connections. So if you can help, phenomenal. But anyways, we're looking to launch a different kind of fundraising effort. Now, some of you might not be familiar with this, but it's been something that's caught on on social media. It's called a trading up game. And what it is, is essentially a, a, a game where you have an item, right? So let's say this Racha bottle and, and you know, hopefully it's not used, but I want to trade this bottle for an equal or greater valued item. And we make a series of trades. Somebody, let's say somebody trades me a shoe for this item and I trade them the bottle and they give me the shoe. And then I take that shoe and I trade somebody else. And anyways, we keep going up and up and up and up. And our goal is to be able to meet a certain financial goal. So for some of these, it could be a car, it could be a house. Uh, we've seen a few of those. Either way, we wanna be able to gain funding. We, we wanna raise a certain amount of money and for this, specific fundraising effort, we want to raise $10,000. Now I know it sounds, sounds, sounds wild, but I really do think with the effort of our community and the effort of our team that we're going to be able to do this. And that $10,000 is going to go towards our menstrual hygiene project for girls in Uganda. We were very successful last year in running or operating in three schools last year, and we want to continue doing so. And we're looking to continue to build. We're looking to continue to implement these projects in different schools. And we've got a long list of schools that are looking for our support. And we want to continue that. We're going to link things below. Um, we're going to make a follow up video uh, precisely for this specific fundraiser. We want to tackle this so that way we can be able to raise money to be able to support our goals. And we have a bit of a time crunch. It's really not that bad. It's about six weeks. Six weeks, $10,000. Can we do it? I believe it. And we need your help. Okay. May 28th is menstrual hygiene day. And we want to be able to kick off that week monstrously. We want to be able to do as much as we can. Our goal is $10,000 and $10,000 will support a lot of what we're looking to do for this specific project. But ideally, we do want to be able to support some of our other organizational needs. We need your help. And if you're able to do so, please 
like, follow, hit us up in our inbox or DM us, do whatever it is that you need to do to get a hold of us. We are looking to to grow. We're looking to do better and we need your help. So if you can, please help us out. If you're looking to learn more about our trading, look forward to our next video as we kick off that fundraiser this week. And again, any questions, please like, share, do all of the above. And we look forward to hearing from you. You guys have a great day.